I want to go through a couple of tips for finding the factors of that last term. Some tips for how to choose those factors right there. So maybe you can jump to the correct ones a lot quicker. Number one, if that last term is positive, then both of the factors are going to be the same sign. So they're either both going to be negative or both be positive. Number two, if that last term is negative, then one factor must be positive and one factor must be negative. And three, whatever the sign of the middle term is, that's going to be the sign of your largest factor. Those are just three little tips that will make it easier to find your two factors and allow you to solve these questions quicker, faster, and easier.